A first grader was dropped off at a wrong bus stop this afternoon in Algiers, and for nearly 30 minutes, her mother had no idea where she was. Tonight, as Erica Ferrando reports, that mother wants other parents to be aware of what can happen. Such a scary thought for a parent. Well, it is. I mean, just imagine getting a call saying, we don't know where your daughter is. It's actually her son that called and said he didn't know where his little sister was. It was only the second day of school at Alice Hart Charter School for Layla King, but this afternoon, she never made it on the bus that brings her to her grandmother's house after school. This is our second day of school. Thursday afternoon, Shalita King's eighth grade son called her, telling her his little sister Layla wasn't on the bus home from school. My heart didn't drop. I didn't know what to do. After nearly 30 minutes of panic, she got a call of relief. Someone who knew the family <laughs> saw the six-year-old walking by herself and gave her a ride to her grandmother's. It could have been anybody just took and just took her to their house and I wouldn't see my baby no more. The first grader was dropped off here on Erickson Avenue. It's the same bus stop where she's picked up in the mornings. She knew her mother wouldn't be home, so she began walking a 0.6 mile long walk to her grandmother's house. I was in on a bus with my brother. Were you scared? King says Layla is supposed to take a different bus after school that takes her to her grandmother's. They're not sure why she wasn't put on that bus. This child would have been walking, just walking. Layla's aunt, Susan Gilbert, used to be a school bus driver herself. That's a responsibility of yours. You're supposed to make sure somebody's at the bus stop. The Inspire NOLA Charter Schools handbook says parents or a designated person must meet kids under second grade after school. I had to pick the kids up. Off the, from the stop. King and Gilbert went to the school and met with the principal to find out what happened. He said he's going to take care. He was very frustrated. Inspire Nola told us they believed she was put on the correct bus, but they are investigating why she was dropped off where she was without an adult. I, I do recommend parents to get a, a cell phone for their kids so they go track and make sure, you know, see where they at. Advice King may take up herself. She also says parents need to teach their kids don't get off the bus if they aren't there. Make sure they have your phone number memorized and if they do find themselves alone, find someone trustworthy for help. Talk to a police officer. Hey, I'm lost. Can you help me out? The school bus company that Alice Hart uses is called First Student. I did call and message them this afternoon, but have not heard back. Thankfully, that child was okay. Thank you very much, Erica.